Uh, my name is Jeff Miller. I'm from DC Honeybees, dchoneybees.com. Uh, we are a mission-based uh, organization that is out there uh, helping to educate people about the importance of these pollinators and propagating urban hives. Erin Little Star, uh, one of our members, was getting bees for her place of work and she wanted to get some bees for her new home. And she thought this would be a good place. Pilgrim should be a good place to have a hive for our garden and for Rock Creek and to uh, deal with the issue of colony collapse disorder. With our hive, our garden, with open table, we create a way for healing and justice to be, to be with more to come. Well, let us bless the bees. <laughs> We remember our stories of faith that include honey as a symbol of God's prophetic promises fulfilled. Let us bless this beehive. So this is the queen. This is the queen cage. The queen, the queen is in here. You guys ready for this? I think it's a great idea. It adds a lot to our, our mission and to our garden, and it's just a fun way to connect with God's creation. All of Scripture and the people of Israel were so connected to the land, and we are so disconnected to the land, and so disconnected from the processes of nature. And the, you know, we talk about how God provides um, in creation, but we don't really get connected to it or see it. Well, I really like bees, so I don't really know. So, but I think that the bees are really yeah. cool for some. I don't know why, but I just think it would really be a good garden without the bees because flowers need the bees. If bees weren't existed, there would all be wow. flowers. <laughs> from a big picture, from a theology picture, honey is part of our story. It's part of milk and honey, it's part of John the Baptist. It was all a part of their life and their sense of um, living in God's way and the symbolism that it comes from the earth and it's part of God's creation and it's part of this natural organic process. Um, and that it does amazing things. It can feed you, it can heal you, um, and it's just a symbol of God's liberation and God's presence in the world.